All right, well, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna put this sandblaster together I started building years ago out of an old 30 pound propane tank. And if it works, we're gonna test it. I don't see why it won't work. You can see where it's been pretty rusty from sitting around. I don't know if I Teflon taped a lot of that, but I'm going to check it out anyways to make sure, I wanna make sure I sealed it. Now, uh, I did scrounge up some, some pipe here I walked around here and I found some old rusty pipe. So now I'm gonna clean those up, just odds and ends that I had around. I'm gonna clean those up and I'm gonna put them together and we're gonna see if we can get a sandblaster working today to do some of what we did yesterday. I'll pass this over to Heather. Glasses, my dear. Thank you. Some of these are rusty. I don't know how good they're going to work. Teflon tape. I have pipe out here, but I'm not exactly sure where I put it. I set it somewhere after I used it when I installed your washing machine in the house. I don't remember where it went to. So it has to be threaded the opposite way, this stuff. I'm not shy when it comes to this stuff. I mean, it's not going to be a lot of pressure. It's going to be mostly to keep sand from falling out because there's not a lot of pressure coming through this. What just happened there? Well, wrap you up and straighten you out. Put that off there. Get off my hand. I'm just going to clean these up and thread them together loosely. And then when they're all threaded together as much as I can, then I'll start to tighten them up. They are a little longer than I need them. I'm just going to sit down a little further, but this here, get thread in here first. That's the first piece of the puzzle where the sand's going to come out. And then I dry fitted everything to make sure it was going to work. Now this here, it's thread. Now this is a brass fitting, but there's not a lot of pressure through that sand that falls down. There's not a lot of air pressure, I should say. So I'm not too concerned about this. I'll just get threaded onto here. Now this other piece here, I need to clean this piece up here as well. It gets cleaned up and threaded on there. These are all old used pieces. Always important too. Yeah, some some of you folks will probably remember that sandblaster. If you look back, you'll see where I started building that sandblaster a few years back. And like some projects, I put it on hold until I either needed it or until I had the time or the material to finish putting it together. 
And now I have both. I have the time, I have the need, and the material to build it. So I've been slowly collecting used fittings over the few, last few years. Now I have enough to put it together. Which is good because we need it on this truck. We'll get threaded into here now. Into there. Then I'll thread the ball valve on. Now, which way do I want the ball valve? Do I want it? No, it's not really gonna, you know what? If it's at the bottom and I lift it up, that might be a lot better. Oh boy, that's tight on there. I wanna get that off. Mm. That'll get cleaned up. Now I think, I think if I go, if I go like that so when it's off, I lift it, I push it down. I think that'll be better like that. Because it's not going to make much of a difference. Let's thread it on like this here. So when I want it to turn it on, I force that down. That's good. Hey, dokey. I have to try to shorten that up somehow. Now, I have a pipe wrench. I took up the other day. I have the short guy, but here we go. Here we are here. Hmm. You know what? Well, I'll tighten this up and I'll bring you back. That's a fine howdy do. Fine howdy doody. Howdy do, howdy doody, or whatever. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Start this here. I'm no pipe fitter either, so. Boom. Like I say, all this has to do just keep the sand from coming out of here and a little bit of air from escaping. Mostly the air, there's not a whole lot of air come down through here until it's almost out of sand. Now this here, it gets threaded onto here now. Just like this. Gets threaded into this section. There. I'll turn this this way now. And then now, I need this pipe fitting here, this T. Not a cup of tea, but so this has to get threaded on like this. Because we need an air line 
We need an air line to come down from here and then the air line to run out. So this, I will thread this on right now, then we'll be back. This piece is next, okay? Safety glasses. Sorry. These wires can fly pretty far. Yeah. So I got a big old arc flash you got yesterday. How's your eyes any better? It's actually in my left one over here now. Good. So it's just over it now. What's that? It's over it now. <laughs> but yeah. You gotta you gotta be careful. That's why I keep saying wear glasses because no, I know. You're... It it'll get you when you're at least expecting it. I used to get them lots when I was younger. Yeah, I didn't even know I had an arc flash this morning. I woke up and it was just like my eye. I felt like I got something stuck in it. I yeah. had no idea until you mentioned it that it was an arc flash. Yeah, feels like, feels like a bit of sand in your eye. Yeah, that's exactly what it feels like. I felt like I had something stuck in my eye. It was really, uh, but well, I couldn't find anything. And It's either one blister or a lot of blisters and they usually show up about 12 hours after getting an arc flash. And they usually last about, ah, I've had them last 12 hours. I've had them go away in about six hours. Now this here, it gets threaded into here. These are all just used pipe fittings I found up the old house up there. Tighten this bad boy up. I'm not exactly sure where it's going to line up until I get get it stood up and then I'll know where I want it. Now it is sitting low to the ground, this pipe, but that's fine. I don't plan on dragging it over any rocky terrain. And some you get, they don't have a ball valve down here, but I like the ball valve to regulate how much sand comes through there. One thing I like. Okay, now we go with this little piece here. We're getting it together. Now this little piece gets cleaned up here. We don't have a proper face shield for the sandblaster yet, but we will get one, just not today. Today we'll just use a grinding shield and a, and a dust mask, which isn't ideal, but that's what we're gonna use. gets threaded into here. That gets threaded into here. And it will line up. So there's going to be an elbow here with a pipe fitting that's going to run up to there to run a supply hose down to blow the air, to blow the sand out. Oh, that's on the ground. Next stage of the game, we thread this on here. This gets threaded on like so. Come on now, how blind am I here? There we go. 
And once this is threaded on, this, this gets threaded into here, and then there's a line that runs from here up to that there. Now I'm gonna clean these up, Teflon tape these as well. And I'll thread these together and then not much more to go. Some of these fittings are pretty rusty. Even this old brass one here is not the greatest looking. Yeah, they seem better days, some of these. But I work with what I got. Okay, there's that piece, and there's this piece, like I say, you wrap this opposite the way it threads, because if you don't, when you thread the fitting in, it'll just unthread this Teflon tape. Now that gets threaded in here. And this here will get threaded into here. There we go. Now, we'll tighten these up and then we'll be back again. This is part of the section that the uh, sand gets run through that heads out to the hose to the end of the sandblasting handle. This here, it gets threaded into here. So next, like once I get this together, I gotta run an air hose from here that comes up into here. And then I clip the, when I put the, uh, when I turn the compressor on, I open this up once that's full of sand and when I'm ready to release, when I'm ready to take the top off, I have to open this again. I, I close it, take the air hose off, open this and let the air blow out through here before I can take the lid off. Or else when you unthread this, it'll be 120 pounds of air pressure in there that'll come flying up at you and it's, it's not a good feeling when it surprises you like that. Now this here piece, it should thread in there. I had it in there before. Pretty sure I had it thread in there pretty easy. Just something I may have to lay on its side to do. Okay, let me see here. Where? It threaded in before. I'm sure of it. I hope it did. Yeah, I had it all threaded together before. Yeah. Yeah. It's just tight, that's all. Maybe some bad threads or something on it. I mean, they are used, right? 
there are just some old pipe pieces I found around. If it gives me too much of a problem. I'll just clean it up and weld that fitting on there. No way. It's going to be fine though. I'm going to turn this so I don't accidentally bust that. Well, that's all it's going to let me have. Hopefully it don't leak. We will find out. Now this piece has got two more pieces to clean up put together and then I have to do the handle part. This is where the sandblasting hose hooks onto to run out to the gun. Again, remember this is all used parts I'm building this with, so it's not going to look like a new one, that's for sure. But it's not costing me what a new one would cost either. It's a bit of duct tape, some used fittings. An old propane tank and an old water hose, fairly thick water hose I had. But not a garden hose, like an industrial water hose. Okay, so now this here, it gets threaded into here and it goes right into here like this. I think I might have to roll it. I might have to roll it this way here. I was hoping I left enough room and it looks like I did, I think. I hope, maybe not. I don't know if I'll be able to turn that. Well, I'm going to find out. 
Maybe I made a little boo-boo there. But we're gonna find out what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tighten this one up first. Oh yeah, I can tighten that up, no problem at all. That'll be easy. Yeah, I can put the pipe wrench right on there to tighten it up. No big deal at all. That's good enough. Open this up now. Thread this in. There we go. That's it. Tighten this up. all tightened up now we'll get the hose here I have a few odds and ends laying around here from when I was scrounging this stuff up to make this yeah I think a little bit of oil will help this slide on lots It's not going to hurt it at all. What I'm going to do first, put that on like that. Uh, if that fills up with a little bit of dirt, it doesn't really matter too, too much. You know that, I can blow that out. And this here, it has to get pushed on. There we go. And it looks like it did that the right way. I need a flat screwdriver now. Oh, don't wanna be kicking stuff all over the place. Here's a flat screwdriver. Put a little bit of oil on this clamp. It was used as well. There we go. That's good, like that. That fit good. Hopefully I can grab that with my gloves on. I'm pretty sure I will. I'm gonna thread this just like this here. You know what? I'm gonna thread it like this so it doesn't catch me if I go to grab anything. Yeah. I think just like that there. Hope you can see that. Okay. Now that's on there. So that part is done now, Heather. What do you think of that? It's good. So to turn the sand on, you just reach under here. That's off. Turn it on, you just push it down as much as you want. Then we need a little hose up the back, but first of all, we're going to build this ugly thing. Okay, well, let's do this. This is going to be a little more difficult because I don't really have, oh, some of that, was that already Teflon taped? No, I don't think it was. No, it wasn't. I don't know why I didn't even, yeah, that was just put on there real quick. I didn't have any tape on there at all. Huh. Well, 
this here. Let's go on out here. Okay, I get some thread in there. That's all one fitting. That's good. Now let's clean this off. I would have put this handle and all that stuff together in a lot less pieces if I would have went and bought the pieces, but nope, not this guy, not this guy. Save the money for other things on this project we're going to need it for. And it's still going to work. See these little guys? That's what you don't want your eyeball. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so this gets threaded into here now. That. And then there's another piece here to the puzzle. I had it. Where did I just lose it? Right here. That gets threaded onto there now. And this year gets unthreaded from here. Now I will do this up here. Uh, let me see here. There we go. I may just thread this whole thing on here like this. Again, this here is just to keep the air from uh, from escaping too, too much. It's not a lot of air. I don't like the fact that if that slips, I'm not going to be feeling the greatest in the morning. I think I'll hold it this way. Now, where do I want that set? Do I want it set on an angle? No, I'm going to go around once more. once more. Let me see here. I do want it at the top though. It should go up about there. That's it. Okay. That's good for that section. I'll have to clean this up. Again, another used part.
know I get a lot of people on my channel saying, how can you keep all that junk around? It's just junk. Well, it's not junk when I go to do something like this. Then it becomes a trip saved, a half hour long trip saved each way, so an hour long trip into, into our local town to buy this stuff at a hardware store. And then dollars to buy it. And then the time in there when I just keep it around and it's here. I may pick them up to yard sales. You know, people drop some of these fittings off for me. Just whatever. Heather's mom and dad gave me a bunch of fittings that they weren't using. I eventually find a use for them. I hoard. As if you couldn't tell already. Alrighty, this threads into here. This threads into here. And yes, I could have did this in different steps. Shorter steps, less steps. But I would have had to actually go buy the material to do this with. And I didn't didn't want to spend the money doing that. I'm going to sit down here, see how dirty I can get this seat before I'm done. Hey? What do you think, Heather? Oh, I think that's a good idea. You impressed with that idea? Sure. Not really, eh? No, I don't care. See how dirty I get the seat? No? Okay. Doesn't make a difference to me. See? No, it'll get cleaned anyways. Alrighty, that, I can already tell the crescent wrench is backwards. Not a crescent wrench, sorry. It's an, an adjustable, is that what you call it? Crescent is a brand name. This one's a Henry. Not an O Henry like the chocolate bar we have here. Now, will that slip and catch me? Nope. Well, that's all I gotta go on that one. Now, let's thread this one together. There's so many things I've wanted a sandblaster for. I used to have one years ago and uh, got rid of it when I moved to town for a brief period of time, but I'm just slowly saving up parts, like I said, to build another one. Next thing I want to do is build a bench back here, you know, so I can work on this stuff. This should do it, Heather. And in this part leaks, I can just tighten it up later. I don't think it's going to, it's pretty tight. Now we go to this end. We're very, very close now, Heather. Where's that oil? I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on this again. This hose here. Now I did leave a long hose on this because I wanted a longer hose on it so that I can leave the sandblaster set up somewhere and then all I have to do is turn it like this and then this here hose I can be back this far. What do you think of that my darling? I like it. Put this on here. This. I have to oil this up in here a bit. You know what's left now? What's that? Got it. I gotta make sure, I have to make sure these are all Teflon taped. I don't remember now if they were or not, but if they're not, I gotta re-Teflon, I gotta Teflon tape those. And if they are, then it's just a matter of putting, putting the hose from here down, clamping it on, and then putting the uh, sandblasting sand in it and testing her out. This here has to go in there a ways here. Come on, you get on there. I 
should be good, Heather. I'm gonna do this. Now, I wanna see here, is that sitting straight? No, it has to go like this. It doesn't really matter, but this here, turn that like that. If I don't like the position of this, I can change it later. It's not a big deal. Okay, let's go back over here now. Next step is I find a little hose. Like I say, after I make sure all that's Teflon taped. I kind of think it was, but I don't remember now, to be honest with you. I don't know if I just dry fit it at all. Hmm. That is slipping, but I don't see that blowing off. It could though. But we'll see. I may need another. I may need a different. Uh, I may need a different. Uh, what do you call it there? Clamp. Yeah. That's exactly it. Is this tight? I don't think any of it's Teflon taped. Well, that means they all have to get cleaned up as well then. Yep. Yep, yep. Alrighty. Well, 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 well. Let's take her apart here. I think I have my other this like this here. Come on, you. Oh, yeah. You can do that to me, are you? I don't know if I Teflon these pieces or not. They don't look like it. They just look like they're rusted together. I'm gonna put you right like that. No, no Teflon tape on them at all. Nothing. Which means I'm going to need that small pipe wrench from over here so I don't damage the threads with that big one. I do not want to do that. I have a few of them here. This guy here will do it. Without damaging anything. Right here. see here. Oh my goodness. I wonder if that's going to leak. I'm going to put it together. I'm going to cross my fingers it don't leak. Maybe once it's Teflon taped together I'll be able to get it apart easier. Maybe the rest of it's all done. I can't really Teflon tape. I can't I can't wire wheel this. You know what I do have a, I do have a wire brush right here. I can clean it up with that. Oh I do have a wire wheel for that uh, hand grinder. The air, the air grinder, air die grinder, yeah. Yeah yeah. Okay. You stay there. Now you will go on there like this. I 
I can't even put any, uh, what do you call it, oil on that either. So I'm gonna use this here. Now, I'll be right back. I'm going to thread this on there and hopefully that this keeps it from distorting that when I go to unthread it. Look at here, you came off there. Did I bend that? Oh boy. It does not take much to bend these and make them oval shape. <sighs> I may have. I might have. I think I can get it though. Well, how do you like that, eh? There we go, perhaps, eh? Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to thread this on. And if I get threaded on a ways, then I will take it off and I'll put the Teflon tape on it. You know what? I want to try something here. It shouldn't distort now that that is in there. You know that? Nope. Oh, nope. You gotta stay tight. Will it work? Okay. It don't come off. I just say if it leaks, I'll weld it on later. For now, I want to get that thing working here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna undo these two right now. Okay, it come off good. That's good. Not much left, you know. I'm gonna thread this in so I don't squish that one as well. Now that's on there, then this here one, it should come off without squishing it. Yeah, that's good now. Now I can take this off. Then unthread this one. Takes very little effort now to unthread that. That's good. Now, next step. Is that one Teflon on? Nope, absolutely not. Why would it be, right? Okay. Clean this one up then.
before I go too crazy, I want to make sure that's the right fitting for our end. Huh. Well. I need a little screwdriver to push through there. It's plugged. I bet you. Maybe there's enough air to push it through. Absolutely not. Nope. Nope, nope. Alrighty. What do I have here? This here. I had some wire here, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. In here, maybe. Oh, small drill bit. Oh, these drill bits haven't picked up yet. Yeah, that'll work. Check that out. Yeah, I really gotta get in and pick these up soon. There we go, Heather. I'm pretty sure it fit, right? Because I tried it already. Correct? Yep. It's good. It clips in there. That's all I want to know. Now, I had the Teflon tape. It's right here. Now, I want to take this Teflon tape. If I can fold that over. Just like this. Yep. That will get threaded into there. This here will get unthreaded from there. Almost there, Heather. What do you think? That's good. It's just a matter of finding that little hose that runs down there, which I'm sure that hose a few claps. I'm sure I have some old air hose laying around. And then I'll have to weld a little piece on the top of that cap so I can take the, the lid off any every time I want to. It's right here. I'll have to weld some kind of a handle on here to unthread that. We're getting very close to being able to sandblast. Hey? Yeah. I'll have to find some kind of a funnel. Maybe an old water jug, right, to put sand in there? Um, there's funnels up at the old house. That's good. Large funnels? Uh, I'll show you. Because it'll have to be a large funnel. I guess I could use that crescent wrench on this, but I'm going to, it shouldn't be that tight. I really don't think it's that tight. No, it's not. Okay, that's off there now. Okay, and this here. That's off like that. That's a good thing. What is that for? Oh, it went into there. That's right. Had me thinking there for a second. Yeah, now I know what it's for. Okie dokie. Something laid a nest in there. 
Just got evicted. Well, there's housing crisis everywhere out here, so may as well feel the crunch too. This piece gets started on here now, Heather. I'll just throw that on the ground for now. It's okay there. Yep. Okay, there we go. That one. That one. Goes on to there. Goes on to there. I never even check to see if these ball valves leak. I don't think they do. I'll find out, I guess. Now this here. Now, I've already got Teflon tape on this one, so I don't have to worry about these guys. Just this one end I have to worry about here and then that end. That other end's already cleaned up. That gets threaded into there. Okay, this comes off here. This goes on to here. Easy there, easy. This, we're getting closer. Mm -hmm. now this here, it can go down here. So now we gotta do a lot of this stuff up before I can put our piece on that runs down. once more and that'll be it for this piece here it's got to face directly down there I think close enough now just so this thing don't turn. I'm gonna get this because I have that position I think where I want it. There we go. Is 
that the right way. Yeah, that's good there. Yes. Okay. Tighten you up. Don't have to be super tight. That's good. Now this here it gets threaded around. Don't want that leaking, that's all. Oh, come on, you. Yeah, I'm sure an adjustable is probably what, I'm sure a crescent wrench is probably what you're supposed to tighten these with. So I don't crush it, but I'm gonna give her a shot on this here. It's gonna go a little more. You know what, I'll just do it here then. That's how it wants to go. Right there. There. That's good there. Now this guy. I can use a small one for this. That's good there. Alrighty. Obviously, that, that lock will be coming off. I gotta, I gotta clean this up. Teflon this. We're gonna go see if we can find a fitting that's a little smaller. And while we're at it, Heather, so once I find a, a fitting, it's gotta be a little smaller than this, gotta match this size here. So just a little smaller. And this here will get threaded into here, like I say, and then a piece like this will get threaded into here and then we'll run a hose down to here. And then this comes off, put our sandblasting sand in there and we give it a shot. How does that sound? Sounds good. Well, let's go see if we can find a smaller fitting. Okay. All right, so it's getting late, but uh, Heather actually went up to the old house, found that while I was visiting with my brother. The one thing I do want to check though is if it's the same thread, because I forgot all about that, you know? Is it pipe thread or fine thread? I never even thought of that, you know that? I think it's pipe thread, yeah, it's pipe thread. Yeah, so I'll clean that up on the buffer. And then there's just a matter of putting the hose on it, Heather putting the hose on it, getting the compressor going, putting the sand in it and testing her out. Let's clean this up here. Glasses. Oh. All right, I got this pipe fitting in. So I think, yeah, we're gonna get a hose for that right now. Get that clamped on and then we're going to get that Compressor going and then we will fill that up full of sand and we'll give it a shot tonight. It's taking all day for that, you know that? Taking all bloody day. Ooh, look at here. 
some clamps and everything in here. Oh my goodness. This guy keeps a lot of junk around, eh? I wonder why. Eh? I wonder why. What do you think, Heather? No comment? Why do you keep it around? Yeah. Oh, because you can use it. Yeah, yeah. Let's see here. I'm gonna undo this line right here. So, look at there's even a good clamp on this. You see that? Check that out. There's even, looks like a pretty good fitting on there. I am not gonna mess with that though. I'm just gonna cut this right off here. So I find if you bend these, watch this Heather. If you bend those, that does not take a very sharp knife to cut those. You bend it that way, bend it this way, put a little tension on it. Be very careful though. And Just like so. Now, 28 inches is what I measured it to be. So I'm gonna go about here. I'm going to go a little longer than I need it. Just in case I have to fight with it a bit. Now there we go. Fold that puppy over, and I'll fold it the other way without slapping me in the face too hard. Okie dokie. Now I need the clamp off of that side. All I need is clamp. I'm not going to cut this side of the uh, hose, I don't think. You know what, I do need part of this hose for my compressor, so maybe we'll be cutting this a bit. Let's see here. Oh yeah, I'll be cutting that. I'll just make a little slit right down here. Just like that. There. So all I did is waste a little bit of the hose. Now, let's get this put on here. I'm hoping this is the right size clamp, or the right size hose, I mean, to fit on there. Yeah, look at that. That's nice. There, and then this here. There we go. I don't want it threaded like that. About there, Heather. Look good to you? Mm -hmm. Thread this, tighten this up here. So we are just about ready to roll. Just about ready to rock and roll. There we go. That's good there. Now let's get, get that compressor sing in there, okay? Okay. Uh, need an extension cord. Where did I run it to? Do you remember? Yeah. It'll be this one here. Yeah. But then maybe it don't reach all the way. Um, it does not reach all right the way. There, the cord's right there for it. it, it this guy right here. That's all. I just need this other piece here because my cord is too short. I'll take this, plug this into here. It's gonna be a little loud for a few seconds. Then we're gonna see what this is like, okay? How 
hard is this going to be to get off? I haven't had this off in a long time. Oh. Better not put air in that. You know what'll happen, eh? I'll get it in the face when I go to take this off. Got to release the air pressure. To it. Yep, yep. Well, we get the sand blasting sand. We'll find a funnel. We'll try to make a funnel. We'll put the sand in there and we'll be right back. Now, I need an X Acto knife right here, right? I'm just going to cut a slit right here, Heather. Gloves. Do I this need is really, yeah, this is really sharp stuff here. Here, I'll give you. The, can you wear these ones for now? I must have left mine inside. What's that? I must have left mine inside. No, they're right behind you. Oh. But th this this stuff here will stick into that. Oh, okay. I don't remember how sharp this stuff was. It's not like silica sand. This stuff. Shouldn't you be bringing this stuff in? Even as we're filling it up, it's probably not a good idea. Alrighty. Let's hang this up here. Right here. here. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. Now I have the bottom shut off, okay? Okay. What are we at for air yet? We're not up to much. Okay, step aside. Make sure nothing's gonna blow here. this. I need some Teflon tape around there because I can't tighten it up enough. Eventually I'll clean that up though and I'll put a good, uh, I'll put a good lid on it. A good spout. Oh, power went off. Well that's not too good, eh? No. Um, Thread this around here. Yeah. Scale start the generator, that's all. Okay, well, I'll be right back, Heather. Okay. All right, so it turns out we didn't lose power in the house. I have the compressor hooked to a power bar out here and that's what happened to it. It kicked the breaker on the power bar. Watch yourself, babe. No, it's still leaking out there. Well, I may need another cap. Yeah. This cap here is really rusty. See inside there, it's not allowing it to go down to seal all the way. Okay. So do you need, but, the, do you need the brush? No. I'm just going to put some more of this on for now. Okay. I have more of those caps up at the old house. Oh, uh, can you go? 
unplug that from the power bar and plug it directly into the wall. Yep. That's what's happening to it. It kicked that again, right? Pop that stupid power bar. I don't know which one's for which here. See the one running here from the compressor across? That's the one you need. Okay. Oh, wrong one. I need that one plugged in. You can unplug the white cord. Okay. So you don't need the white cord anymore. Need the lights on here. We got the lights. But now, for some reason, did it. Oh, it just shot off because it was full. Sorry, it had nothing to do with the power bar. The compressor was up to air. Okay. That's all. Sorry about that, my darling. Why are you sorry? It doesn't matter. Now, let's see. I don't know if that's going to leak still. No, watch yourself. Well, I know where it's leaking from, but don't have a clue. But anyways. leaking out around there. So I'm going to turn this on a little wee bit here. Okay. Okay. Now. Okay, can you grab that please? Yep. Alrighty, so what's happened then is this end here it's too fine of a nozzle. So we're gonna change out the nozzle on this. I don't remember where the ends went to, do you? I don't know. Well, I'm gonna do this real quick. Watch your eyes. Good. That really blew it around, didn't it? I can't, I couldn't see what was happening. Oh, it blew it all over. So now I don't know if these nozzles are all the same size or not. They may be. I think they are the same size. This one here is plugged with something. I think this end I'll be taking off here. You know that? Yeah. Well, okay. come on over here, babe. Okay, just one sec. Are we ready? What's that? Are we ready? Go for it. Ah, it just plugged up. Well, that's weird. It's weird for sure. I don't know if it's got too much through there or what. It may be letting too much down through there. Maybe I gotta back it off a bit. Let's see what happens here. Too much coming through here at one time. Try to restrict that a little more. Take a bit of playing with. I 
turn the sand off on too much there, it'll plug up on me, that's all. Let's see what happens here. Nope. So what I gotta do is blow this out. That's all. I'll just get rid of some of this. It's too much coming out. We're gonna restrict that. Okay. Settings right, that's all. Yeah. Little more sand. Are you okay? Yep. Ready? A little more sand. Hopefully that's not too much. Get more sand. Try that. Still not enough sand. Takes a bit of getting used to it, eh? Sorry. That's okay. We'll try where it's really rusty here, okay? Oh yeah, that did good. Yeah, we'll try it here where it's rusty, okay? I'm gonna stretch this hose out here a bit. Are you ready? Okay, you can step back a bit just so we don't beat the camera with it. I'm gonna try it right up here in this rusty spot. Give it a little more sand. Just gotta get it set right and then it won't mess with it. How's that looking? It's really good. Let's try it. Let's try it on this fender. Uh, no, let's try it on Heather. I'll try it on this rad support here. Right here, okay? 
Uh, right here. Let's try it on this section here. Can you see under here? Whereabouts? Under here. Glasses down, cover your face. We'll get some good hoods here. How's that? It's pretty darn good. Can you see what it looks like? It's taking it off good. Oh yeah. Looks great. Good job. Thank you. So it's working. Yeah. So where this is all rusty in the corner here, I'll show you what this is like. Glass is down again. I'm gonna clean up in here. Yeah, where's that mask? Right there. I don't want to breathe this in. Here, you put one on as well, okay, babe? What's that? Put one on as well. We don't want to be breathing this stuff in. Okay. Okay, the compressor's probably low as well. It's got to build up a bit, but... Now, we do need proper masks, that's for sure. But... Do some clean up here real quick. Glasses keep fogging up. Mine too. Well, I want to see what it's like on one of these painted fenders. Um, I'm just gonna set it right here, Heather. Okay. See what it's gonna be like right there. Uh, set it where we can see it, right? Can you see that okay? Yeah. Put your mask on, glasses down, yep. I can barely see out of this. Okay, come on over here, Heather. Are we ready? Yep. can't see with these on. Okay, I'm gonna continue a bit more here. Ready?
Do some more. How's that for a homemade sandblaster? It's good. Thank you. Now my compressor is low, I know that. It's not producing as much power as it should, or as much air. Now I took the air hose off here and I released all the air. Now that it's released, I'll close this. Obviously we should be doing this outside where it's not blowing all around inside. I'll put this on here for now. So, that's what it's like. That's all bare metal now, just in that length of time. And now I can see what I have to cut out and replace. And here as well, I did that real quick. Uh, clean this up real quick. This section here, I was just testing it there. Did this section as well. Did down in here. Now once I'm ready, I'll just sandblast all that. That way, I just wipe it real quick and I have a good spot to weld to. A good clean spot. That, I'm impressed with. Anyways, that's what he did down here as well. That's all the paints off that section as well too. And that. Yep. Well, now we have a good working sandblaster. Good. A good homemade working sandblaster. Now the next thing I want to do, well, in the future I want to build a good brake for bending metal. Good oh, metal you, bender. Oh, oh the metal. A the brake, metal. yeah, for yeah, yeah. bending okay. metal. Yeah. yeah. Cause the one my brother let me there, it just doesn't cut it. Yeah. We're using uh one sixteenth and it's not strong enough. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Anyways, I'm pretty impressed. So I'll put in some footage of how we did this yesterday because I did we did this section here did all this yesterday here and we did this section as well in here not much left to go so I will sandblast I can see where you can see where it's thin with a sandblaster so that's good I like that I did I welded up this part of this back cab corner as well so I just had to cut this shape it I weld that in but it's nice so that's why I keep all that junk parts around like I keep saying. That is good. Now I'm going to leave, I'm gonna leave that knot, that lever right there. I'm never going to regulate that lever right there that allows the sand to come out the bottom. That is good. I may make a handle on that though, another handle I can hold it. Uh, but uh, for now that's gonna be good. And I like it, the fact that it's long enough hose, it's far enough away that you're not tethered to it. And I always release the air when I take the air hose off. So if I take this off, I don't get it in the face. But now you see how fast it's gonna take if we wanna sandblast the whole body. It's not gonna yeah, take long, will it? It'll go pretty quick, but we're not going to. We don't need to sandblast at all. Just where I weld and uh, where it's really rusty, we'll sandblast it and it'll put some good uh, uh, good metal in it and uh, if it's if it's rusty and don't need metal then we'll just uh, uh, We'll just fix it up with some some uh, high build scratch filler primer Yeah, and then seal her up and then put your paint on it Well, that's it for now folks. 
hope you enjoyed this quick little video of us building a fast, cheap little sandblaster and it works. It works pretty good. I've had this stuff part around, like I said before, I had that for a long time here. I built that out of a 30 pound uh, propane tank. It's sitting upside down. I cut a hole in the bottom. That's where the sand goes in. And at the, at the top, I unthreaded the valve. I don't recommend you do that unless you know what you're doing because they can still hold pressure inside those tanks, the propane tanks, but uh, I've done it a lot. It's not the first sandblaster I built, as you could probably tell. Eventually, I will clean this all up and maybe we'll give it a good old orange spray paint to match our sawmill. Anyways, you folks take care and we'll talk to you another time. Bye bye all.